but when you open it up for the first time, you're going to see the dashboard here. So this is similar to our dashboard on the web or desktop platform. And at the top, we have a graph of SPY. So um, it's kind of just like a general market overview for the day. It ticks in 10 minute intervals. So it's kind of the idea that you land on this dashboard page when you first open up your phone. And it's a good snapshot of, hey, what's the market doing today? Is it up or down? It looks like it's been kind of trading a little uh, up and down today. You know, we're on the lower side. Um, and then, you know, as the day goes on, this chart kind of fills out a little bit more. You're also going to see two buttons here. But so we have two buttons right here, the app settings and funding. So this is just quick ways to get into the app settings or to potentially fund your account as well. Um, again, if you're on Android, you're not going to see this just yet. And then underneath this is just some general market news across um, all sectors. So you could click on a specific article. It's going to take you to that article in another browser. Or if you keep scrolling down, we also just have some nice applicable watch lists. We have some watch lists on tasty earnings or earnings coming up. And then dividend champions. These are symbols that have increased their dividends over the past 25 years. And then tasty fast movers are just some uh, high IV stocks. So we have parameters for all these watch lists. We have a little description on our help center about what actually calculates if they're going to be in the list or not. Uh, I can show you guys those resources a little bit later, but yeah, it's just good good place to start your day. Um, checking out recent news, how the market's doing for the day, and maybe some you know catchy symbols in these watch lists. But once you're done with that, you can either you know jump into the positions tab or any of our other tabs here at the bottom of the platform. So we got positions, trade, activity, and then also there's a more button here. And then right now we are on the dashboard tab. But uh, if you want to go to any of these tabs, just tap them at the bottom. So I'm tapping on positions at the bottom. Now we're checking out our open positions or working orders. We've got the trade tab. If we want to place a new trade or search for a symbol to trade. So clicked on trade down there. Someone was asking about history and activity. So we got the activity tab right here. And then at the top we'll have today we haven't placed any trades. So we're not seeing anything here, but well, in a second, we got the orders in the history section too. So if you tap on the history tab there, maybe we want to look at year-to-date data. Um, you can check out your year-to-date data in this activity history tab section. And then lastly, on the far right, for those of you with the iOS app on a recent, most recent release, if you click on more here or tap on more, you're going to see any of the other tabs or pages we have on the mobile app in this case. Right now, I have the watch list tab, the tasty live tab, and then also the settings tab hidden from that main navigation bar. You can click on reorder right here. If you tap on reorder and then drag and drop and move this around. So maybe I don't want activity, but instead, oops, a little bit of a mispress on my end. Ah. There we go. Click, drag, and drop. Maybe we switch it out with activity and we want to have the main watch list tab there. We can switch it around and then tap on save. And now you see it's it's changed the order there. And when we collapse this menu, now we can actually have watch list here as a quick action button. So just one press. You don't have to click on more. So whatever tabs here are most applicable to you. If you don't like the dashboard tab, you can get it off there if you want or kind of move it around to your liking. Nice. If we get rid of that drawing there, that's our little bottom navigation bar, but there's also one more area in terms of our grander navigation you should know about, and that's gonna be in our top left here of the platform. So this is gonna be the same on uh, both Android and iOS. If you click on this button here in the top left, we're going to get into our account management section, our account overview section. So for those of you familiar with the desktop and web platform, this is kind of just like that top panel overview of your account balances and the ability to select or trade in different accounts. So right now, when we clicked on that, or sorry, not clicked, but at least tapped on this dot in the top left, you might see a few more numbers if you're not on privacy mode. You'll be taken to this pop-up window where we can see the account that we are currently trading in or looking at 
open orders in. So we actually, looks like there is an order place. So there, there's one other person that uses this account. Maybe they're firing off some trades. But um, here you're going to see your account name at the top here. So right now it's dotted out because it's in privacy mode. You're going to see that your account number and then also kind of the, the symbol, which in this case is a circle in the color. So this is my purple account purple circle ending in 01 account. This is the account we want to place trades in. And underneath we can see our net liquidating value again dotted out because of privacy mode. Um, but then we also have PL day, PL open, PL year to date, all these different figures here applicable to our, our account balances for this account ending in 01. Now, if we have multiple accounts, they're all going to list along this left side panel here. So we have the purple account there, and then we also have this pink account. So if we wanted to switch and check out our balances in our pink account ending in 08, we could tap on that account there. And now you see the information's updating at the top. This information just updated right here as well to our pink account. So as you're tapping through your different accounts, you can check out your balances, see where your PL day, PL open is sitting at, where your net liquidating value is. Maybe you want to see how your directional bias, your net delta in your account or theta, um, also your buying powers, maybe you're in a margin call. This is where you're going to see that information. Also, there are two buttons at the bottom, which are quite nice. Um, there is the transfer money button. And then very important here is the tap to trade button. So when we go to place trades here in just a second, we're going to be placing some stocks, options, futures trades here in the demo. But when you get to this tab here, you can click on transfer money. That'll take you to our deposit section. So I could deposit into this account ending in 08, this pink account, if I tapped on transfer money, or I could tap on tap to trade. So if I do that, now that is the active account for placing trades on my platform right here. So maybe if you're like, hey, I want to place a trade in my pink account ending in 08, you need to go here and make sure that you tap that trading in this account button. That way, when you go to your order ticket, the platform knows, hey, this is the account this user wants to place the trade in. So that's where you can switch which account you're viewing or placing trades on. In this case, we want to go back to our purple account to place trades so we can tap back on our purple account and tap on tap to trade. And now we are trading in that account. Boom. Let's go back to the positions tab here. We can see we just got one share in ribbon. But uh, so opening up that left side panel one more time. Lastly, there's a couple other areas. We have a help section here. Uh, if you ever need to reach out to support or have some questions, you can always check out the little help area with that button. You could also go to our platform settings. I'll be talking about that a little bit later in depth. And then there's also a logout button as well if you want to sign out. So that kind of wraps up our, our general navigation in terms of going through the different tabs, setting up that bottom navigation bar or changing accounts and checking out your balances.